If you've ever had a soil crusting issue on your farm, preventing your plants from getting out of the ground, you know that that can be a real problem and a real hindrance to top yield. So today we want to talk about how to reduce surface crusting issues for next spring. 2019 was quite a year to learn about many different things out in the field and one of them was what a big issue crusting could be. We saw several common scenarios where crusting was really occurring and that's what we wanted to talk about today because the time to fix these is in the fall. When we look at tillage, let's talk about tillage first of all. My dad grew up in north central Iowa and his practice on the farm that he grew up in was, well, we're going to till this soil, then we're going to till it again, and then we're going to till it again, so it's absolutely perfect. And it really honestly looked like pulverized powder out in the fields. It was so fine you couldn't hardly see a corn stalk, and it was beautiful to plant in. The problem was we had wind erosion issues and we had crusting. When you pound those soil particles down to just really fine soil, you end up with more chance of having crusting out in the soil. So for me, I see a big benefit with leaving some level of residue in the field, at least for avoiding crusting, because one of the things that you may not think about too is just the impact of rainfall. When rain is just going to hit soil directly, it's going to pack a lot on that top surface and you're going to see some crusting. The next thing we look at is calcium levels in that soil. If you have a good calcium level, and by that I'm talking about 65 to 75 percent calcium or so on the base saturation test, well now you're in much better shape to reduce that crusting overall. We see a lot more crusting in high magnesium soils and the reason why is because magnesium is such a small particle. When you have great big particles, basically calcium, then they don't bind together as much, they don't compact as easily. So get your calcium levels higher and generally speaking your crusting issues will go down. This is one of the reasons we're talking about this this fall because it often comes down to a fall application of a couple different products. Uh, gypsum would be one that we get a lot of questions about in terms of reducing crusting. Gypsum can really work by improving that calcium level and by just spreading it on top of the surface of your soil. It's going to work its way down through that soil with moisture over time. So if you're in no-till, get it done soon. If you're in a conventional till situation, can you till it in? Yes, but it's a product that could also be left on the soil surface. When it comes to lime, fall application is the best as well. And again, when you're putting calcium out there with the purpose of reducing crusting, surface applications are the best. All right, one of the most important things here too is just when are you going to be out in the field? As much as possible, we want to try to stay off that ground when it's too wet. Well, how do you reduce the ground being too wet? In a lot of cases, you just have to add some drain tile. If you have tile out there, you're much less likely to have surface crusting because you're much less likely to have an overabundance of moisture out there. But again, like we said earlier, you really need to take a look at that calcium and adding some more residue or leaving some more residue out in that field. So those are probably the three biggest things that I look at. The big watch out, other than just going out there when things are too wet, is rolling. I'm not a real big fan of rolling soil because usually we see more surface crusting if that ground is rolled. Well, the challenge with any of these farming practices, Brian, like rolling, for example, is there are benefits. If you've got rocks out there, I see why guys want to do it. They want to push those rocks down so they can run their combine head a little bit lower. I get it. I understand that. And there's other benefits as well. So if you're going to be doing the, the rolling, you probably want to wait till after emergence, which again, carries its own risks too. If you've got crop that's up, trying not to break too much of the crop off. Yeah, or again, if you ha are going to roll, you say, look, I'm absolutely rolling. I try to leave as much residue out as possible, have real high calcium levels, and then that's going to reduce the issues and the likelihood you're going to have crusting after rolling. Well, all those stresses, as you can see, can add up. If you've got all of those problems, crusting becomes much more likely. So deal with the ones you can. If there's some that you just can't entirely deal with, then make sure you have all those other bases covered. Same would be true with controlling weeds. This is one that you definitely want to get under control on your farm. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.